You see a set of tire tracks in the brown slush that covers the plaza mosaic. Hard to say. Your vision is blurred and you're having difficulty cop habit. You look at everything. Kim also tries not to look at the pile of tape viscera on the carpet, or the weird suitcase on the hat rack, or the- And by that you mean crimes against humanity? I have no idea what that means. The bed is cold and not particularly inviting, but it's yours. The sheets look awful. A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. In it, your face adorned with the expression. A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. In it, your face adorned with the expression. The door is closed. Welcome to Rivachol. Don't you welcome to Rivachol me. My grandfather came here from a 3,000 year old racist isolationist culture. While every school of thought and government has failed in the city. But I love it nonetheless. It belongs to me as much as it belongs to you. It's men like you who keep Revachol divided, making it that much harder for everyone to climb out of this post-war limbo. Oh, 
command man, I just said, uh, welcome to Rivachol. Uh, it's a lorry driver thing. I know exactly what you meant. You think my kind doesn't... But you see, I'm an officer of the RCN. It's actually... Silence. Your partner needs backup. Now's your moment to shine. I haven't learned anything I didn't know before. The lieutenant exhales and resumes his regular calmness. Whatever you say, officers. Uh, it's about biological determinism, natural law, the sourcing of the races. Not the most popular topic nowadays, with a coalition in charge and all. You might want to change the topic. That is, bury your head under the sand like common sheep. Change the topic. The way he says it makes it almost sound like a threat. I'm not just racist. Look, I've read books, huh? The science of racial theory has all been proved. Even if some people don't want to accept it. People who've studied these things say that you and me are superior by design. So, uh, naturally, we Occidentals should be in charge. Obviously, you can see the merits in that. Open your eyes. Haven't you noticed something different lately? An unfortunate downturn, maybe? Huh? When members of the superior race cease to believe in their innate superiority, they stop competing for resources. The problem? The damn kips are showing a real good game lately. Same with the mosquitoes. And the other introduced species too. They're on the precipice of cultural victory. It's what the kips of Boogie Street are going for, right under our noses. And the others, it's true. Also, you need to realize the dangers of mixing races. Who knows what might happen if people don't stay in their first place? You might end up with a new sub-race. Don't push your luck, Runt. Looking for something, Runt? Oh, not much anymore. I'm here to pick up some cargo, but uh, the dock workers are on strike, so uh, it's a sit and wait on your ass situation. Apples. Yeah, apples. I take it you had other questions? He's given you the runaround. Let's be honest, you were bested. No. He's got a smoke right there, in his fucking hand. Snatch that shit out of his fat fingers. You need it after listening to his garbage. Can't have it. Evidence of what? I haven't done anything. But uh, what, officer? Sorry I couldn't be of any help. Rain falls on the great city of Rivershaw. Rain drips from the eaves and floods the gutters, washing the filth away. The spring thaw must be here. The snow is melting. Looking up at the sky, cold water dripping from your hair. Grey sky like great battleships, clouds colliding with one another. Your shirt sticks to your chest. The shoulders of your disco blazer grow heavy. The cold finds its way in under your skin. You shiver, and the city shivers with you. You're not dressed for this weather. You should get an overcoat or a patrol cloak. This rain will not let up anytime soon. You should get a raincoat. There's a freight to the east. They sell them there.
This trash container is locked. The sliding lid has a padlock that says, whirling in rags. There's something in there, not necessarily connected to the case, but still. Maybe you're prioritizing it. Trash, food waste from the cafeteria. They lock these containers to keep the derelicts from flocking in. What do you mean, feel? Mm -hmm. We could try using a pry bar, the one you took from my motor carriage, or... We might want to ask for a key from the manager of the Whirling in Rags. He probably has one. And he also has information. Maybe you're prioritizing it. belongs to the whirling in rags. Thank you for clearing that up. Why do you keep the container locked? Why? To keep the hobos and drunks out. That's why. And the neighbors too. They put their trash there and they don't pay for the garbage company. I thought as much. And are you the only party with access to the trash container? Well, yes. Us and the garbage disposal company. It seems a little callous, doesn't it? Something stirs in you. Product him and find out. Callus? What are you, Kras Mazov? Almost all establishments in Revishol keep their trash locked. What do you need them for? It concerns the case. Please cooperate. Just bring them back once you're done, please. This trash container is locked. The sliding lid has a padlock that says, whirling in rags. With a well-oiled crack, the lock pops open. It should now be possible to simply raise the lid. Don't. Maybe you shouldn't. Maybe you shouldn't. Of course you should. This is your time to shine, hobo cop. Dive into that dumpster for extra content. There is, but you won't like it. Sweat forms on your brow. Your hand is still on the lid. The smell of rotten food rises to greet you. You see soggy cartons, dirty rags and organic waste. We're just in time. This hasn't been emptied for over a week. 
You see, milk, an egg rest with one broken egg in it. Some pasta wrapper. Picking up the soggy packages somehow feels familiar. box falls into pieces in your hands. Batiste Sole cereal. There are plastic pasta packages below and turbo noodles. Among the threadbare kitchen towels, something catches your eye. A pair of denim trousers. As the legs of the slime-covered jeans begin to unspool from the garbage, a rank corpse smell fills the air. The victim's clothes? Cadaverino door is faint. If this belonged to the deceased, they were removed when he was still in the early stages of decay. Drop them in here, officer. Guitar marked blue jeans. Pockets. Empty. Or emptied. He wore them with a belt, too. A white belt. The loops appear stretched, but the belt is missing. That's it. Do you see anything else in there? I have another bag here. Something slimy catches your eye. A drab, long-sleeved shirt, olive-colored appears from the food waste, dripping with pus. This is a military type overgarment. No label or serial number. This is the kind of rib knit shirt that's one of a light armor to conceal it in an urban scenario. Anything more? The rest of the rags are just kitchen variety waste. Just garbage. All right, we should go to Gart again and ask if he knows who put the clothes in the trash. It could be as simple as someone from the hostel cleaning the yard. Or that one. I'd advise against confronting that force. The fuck's he on about, kids? You hear that, Kuno? He thinks you're an infant or something. See? Not really. All we know is the victim's clothes are in the trash, the lid was locked, and his establishment had the key. It's just a small loose thread. It's just organic waste, cold and slimy on your hands. Apple and potato pills, mostly. Unidentified sludge and the occasional chicken bone thrown in for good measure. But hey. Nothing. It's nothing. Nothing more to see here. What's this? A blue piece of plastic sticks out from the apple peels. It's shiny. Looks like the corner of something. They look badly damaged, but you can still make out forms and notes, written in a man's handwriting. Officer, is that your paperwork? Yes, it is. Look. This plastic has the RCM street grid on it. You've even got an autopsy form. If you don't mind me asking, how did this get in the trash? Officer, this is an official piece of paperwork. It probably contains notes on numerous ongoing investigations and could even list undercover operatives, informants. I suggest integrating it into your style. It would also not hurt to start taking notes on the case. Now, tell me what your eagle eyes see. Or are we finished? Wow, an armistice caliber 50 knock cannon. Half wrapped in paper tissues. So shiny. It's a giant rifle, and it's very expensive. Not as expensive as that fat string of pearls snaking around the rotten banana peels, however. And is that Cordon Electric's preamp with Electra F2 tubes? It is. 
That catch is quite a price. We're talking 12,000. Easy. Unless you're into hi-fi yourself. That's too bad, because none of those things are actually in there. There's just food waste and crisp wrappings. All you see is a broken mug with a racist depiction of the yellow man frolicking in saffron. Only in its social sensibility. Mm -hmm. The container sounds a muffled gong. That's one thing off the list. I think we got it all. The smell is repulsive. It pushes in from your mouth, more instant and more familiar than anything you'd expected. More fever than odor. It fills your mind, flushing you from within. Too late. It's impossible to keep in. Your body curls and pushes it out, burst by burst, until a pool of vomit lies under your feet and your throat stings from the stomach acid. Keep it. The hangover is clearly making this worse for you. You could use some ammonia to clear your head, if you can handle the headache. Some officers use it to deal with cadaverine odor. I can't handle the headache. It's more likely he can handle the smell, unlike you. There is Frit nearby, east of the hostel. They usually have a small apothecary. If they don't, there's a greenhouse here, and a gardener with a wheelbarrow on the corner of the whirling rags. If she works here, she might have something for the smell. Active decay. It's okay to throw up of his own. No one is judging. Sweating profusely, his eyes are like two black holes and his jaw is twitching as if trying to break free from the empire of his body. Fuck that! Kuno, yeah! Right in the mouth hole! They pay you no heed, or pretend not to notice you. Shit himself! The rake, Kuno! You should throw the rake at him, Kuno! The fuck? Does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno is not a gardener! We shouldn't do anything. I don't tempt such forces. You will see. The fuck are you talking about? He's calling us f Kuno. He says we're fucking each other. All right, entertain the Kuno. Show me what you got. What you got there? What you got, huh? Show me what you got. Shitload pig. What's your question? Don't tell the pig shit, Kuno. If I were to want to waste my time, which I do not, I would ask them who he is, how he got there, and the usual. You have no idea what the usual is. Just ask whatever comes to mind.
Kuno's fucking. Kuno uses the fucking for target practice. End of conversation. Very strong. You should be this stoic. Probably climbed. Kuno was busy down the road when that shit went down. You heard Kuno? Kuno wasn't even in Martinez. Kuno wasn't in Revachol. Kuno wasn't regional. I don't know. Some fucking mesk or, or I don't know. Some other place. Night City. Kuno was in fucking Night City. Kuno gives this info out on a need to know basis. And you don't need to know. Just a couple of pigs sniffing around in the dirt. Yeah, you tell the faggoty Kuno. Your test and coo- Get lost, f Right, pig. This is where Kuno plays with his little wooden choo-choo. What do you want with it? Yeah, Kuno doesn't know shit about that. That shit is beneath Kuno. Listen, listen. Kuno doesn't care about this small-time shit. Just listen. Kuno saw what you did there, dumpster diving. Sad shit. Kuno could hook you up with some sweet rags. Shit like Kuro's wearing. Your size, good price. 500 real. Whatever. Kuno was trying to help you, but you're too fat for fun anyway, pig. The fuck? A mug in the trash. Is this about the fucking clothes again? Yeah, Kuno sees where this is going. Kuno's got that fast brain. You saying you pigs are after the mug fucker? Cause he's the clothes fucker? I can't hear you, Kuno. Speak louder, Kuno. Shit, that's tense. Someone's going to the beat down basement, huh? Mug guy gonna get tied to the radiator. The kid may have something there. He's already come up with an interrogation technique, too. Kuno doesn't know who put that shit in there. And if he did, he wouldn't squeal. But if you find out, maybe you can... Stop turning into a pig, Kuno! They're trying to get you hooked on the snitching! Yeah? Get your bacon shit away! Kuno doesn't like to be seen with the popo! Get your shit done and out of Kuno's face! Yeah, whatever. Kuno doesn't give a shit. Kuno's Kuno, pig? Kuno. Primal. Violent. The fuck are you calling a third person? Kuno's the fucking first person? He looks slightly confused, but proud he came... Watch out, Kuno! He's trying to fiddle you! He's gonna put his hands on you! Blow connects surprisingly well, leaving your knuckles tingling. Kuno feels it. This was no light tap. <sighs> Officer, this is very far from normal police conduct. Get yourself together. For heaven's sake, he thinks. This has gone too far. Don't make this any worse than it is. Just get back to questioning the kid. Okay, pig. If this act was about him trying to establish dominance over you, it's safe to say things didn't go as he'd planned. Kuno knows to respect that violent shit. You should see Kuno's dad. Kuno's dad doesn't give a shit about anything. The creature behind the fence has fallen ominously silent. Only her eyes are alive, jumping from actor to actor. Okay, pig. Talk to Kuno. We're back in this shit. The fuck do you want? He's on your crime scene, bossing you around. And he's been here for some time too. This is where he hangs out. You have to get more out of him. He could- Trying to fuck at the Kuno! Trying to fuck at me! Trying to fuck! Kuno only gets higher! It's faster, faster, faster! 
can't take the Kuno. Stay out of the reactor. Kuno gonna fuck you up. Up, up, up. Normal is not what we got here. You've got to work with what you have for now. Your dream and pig. A little. But don't expect anything to change. Don't let him dominate you, Kuno. Fuck his fat ass. Kuno doesn't... Conspicuous pile of the roofing material, Etonite. Because it's nice and orderly, well laid palette, easy on the eyes. No, there's more to this. You get this strange feeling. Hard to say. It's gone now. Feelings pass, you see. Especially the small ones. It's nothing. Someone just left some roofing material slanted against an old shack. several footprints in the mud, left by work boots. Anywhere from six to twelve pairs have walked here. Heavy workers' boots with reinforced toes and hobnails all over the yard.
This Postla Vantorie mail collection box has been heavily vandalized with graffito. A closer inspection reveals two bullet holes in the front. The box seems happy. Eat shit pig, fucked by the coon, and Saint G with a crown have been scribbled on it. Jenny is a whore and best set mailbox also. The mail collection box seems cathartic, thankfully even, so do you. You shudder, then you swallow, and then suddenly you see it. Over all the other graffitos, someone has, using the tip of a very sharp knife, cut the words, Revachon forever. There is a hollow ring as you kick the box. It sounds like it's mostly empty. Your toe hurts now. Your toe has suffered damage. Cool. You really showed that mail collection box. I don't. Let's go. He must see the box as the weaker of the two, and you as a bully. Something he doesn't stand for. We can sit on benches after we've solved the murder. Let's go. It's a jam, my man. It's a traffic jam for the ages. Harbor gates up the street are shut tight. No explanation given. Workers on strike, scabs agitating, and all around cluster fuck. Meanwhile, we're all stuck here in long haul limbo for days upon days upon days. Upon days. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Feels near forever. Like I was born on this here roundabout and this was all I ever knew. Just me and the metal and the tires, the oil and the fumes of mazout. Yeah, imagine. It's been a whole week already. Behind the laugh, however, a touch of sorrow. So tell me, what do you need? Yup, nothing wrong with that statement. Your senses have nothing to add. You left the ask around elsewhere. Ah, yes from the Wild Pines. We'll meet her soon enough, I'm sure. What's better than chasing transient pleasures? The more transient, the better. When one's ended, you can get onto the next one. Time to arrest him. Mm -hmm. 
there it is again, a little touch of sadness beneath his cool. He thinks he spent too long in this lorry. The man taps his fingers rhythmically against his arm. Ease into it. Don't go too far. This seems like a personal matter. Maybe the full-on direct approach wasn't correct. Damn, it's tricky business looking into someone's eyes and not doing it. Not a good track record of mental health in that family. Not a good track record of... small, wrinkled woman does not greet you. She nods along to something on her radio. A photograph is clutched in her hands and there is a warm smile on her face. It's the warmth of a winter night's fire. Maybe she could give you comfort and shelter, some cigarettes and food money. Maybe she's your no response. Wherever this woman is, your words fail to reach her. Nothing. Her smile just keeps widening. Her hair is grey, like lead. No, this one is a monster in disguise. Wait. She's just a distracted old woman. Better to leave her alone. Why? I just told you why. The tear machine stands in the corner. A sign says, one bottle equals 10 cents. No, you need tear to use the tear machine. You see several packaged raincoats fill a low shelf beneath a display of croissants and juice bottles. The raincoats are transparent except for the big Fritta slogan on the back. What is what? Um, it's a raincoat. If you want to buy one, then it's only four real. Here you go. A small cabinet on the wall is filled with various medicine bottles, nasal sprays and blister packs. They all bear the Saint-Baptiste Pharmaceutics logo. Um, 
just ask me if you need anything from Saint Batiste. We don't stock prescription meds, but we do have Nosafed, Duramine, Magnesium, and Hypnogamma. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Nosafed is a nasal spray. Duramine is a really good painkiller. Magnesium is a dietary supplement. Hypnogamma is... I don't really know what Hypnogamma is. I guess it makes you feel less shit. It's recommended to use after lots of partying, studying, or exercising. Um, no, sorry. I'm not like a doctor or anything. Saint Batiste, you know, the pharmaceuticals company. Saint Batiste Pharmaceuticals, the one that sells meds out of Saint Batiste. That one, there. Yeah, there's like an ampule somewhere. Cab? What did he just call you? A- Oh no, not this again. You just got away from that fucking kid. A kind of a worm, content with mere survival. They come, they want to do our job for shittier pay, screwing over both themselves and us. Everybody loses. Beats me. Somewhere in the ground, I think. Gotta be bloody stupid or freaking evil to scab. Or I guess, scared maybe. But scared of what? Of who? Personally, I'd rather beg than scab. If the gentleman shouting on the street came begging, maybe they'd have gotten something. We've explained the matters, but they don't listen. This lot would be reasonable and go home if the big guy wasn't riling them up all the time. I was just messing with you. No one's ever seen a cop scab. Imagine, you cops going on a strike, but then another cop comes in and says, let us cop for less money. <laughs> Speaking of, what brings the RCM here to the wild north? Come to see the strife? The coin narrowly slips by your outstrip. Lieutenant Kitsuragi picks up the coin and hands it to you. Nothing a couple of solid hooks from Dexter and Sinister won't fix. He's a chatty guy, wants to talk about the strike. 
Return once you've met the Union boss and are on a better footing with the organization. Welcome to Frit. Feel free to look around or something. Everything is out on the shelves. What's that magazine she's reading? I don't know. Frit? I think they think that the extra tea makes it funkier. It doesn't. You mean this? This is Pop Stars. It's got, like, famous people in it. It's not for sale. Looks like it also has something called Police de la Mode. Featured on page 34. This speaks to you. Um, it's where they rate different outfits famous people wear. It's kind of funny. They're kind of mean. It's about who's the most stylish. Um, no. I don't like it. I hate it. We are not the fashion police. We're the real police. Um, okay. I'm not really supposed to be chatting to anyone, but... A warehouse? I don't know. Maybe. I don't really care what Frit does. She looks up from under her brow. Fine. Frit doesn't have a warehouse. Just a little back room here. Okay? Um, I don't really know anything. I mean, I know it's there, but... I haven't seen it, so... Not really. Um, no. I didn't know him at all. I don't know really... long? Um, I don't know? No need to worry. It's just standard procedure for us to ask around. If you hear anything, let us know, okay? Okay. Uh-huh. Reality? You mean... What reality? I don't really know anything. I mean, I'm 15. Yeah, that's why I'm working my ass off in Frit. So I guess, like, that's economic. I don't know. What about it? We're in Frit? As mankind or as a nation? In a good place? I mean, science is doing great and this radio computer thing seems to be kind of big. I don't know. I don't know. Look at the clock. It's right behind you on the wall. The clock shows the time at 10.09. The hands seem to be still. It's apparent the clock doesn't work. When ordinary people take over the government and, um, demand democracy? Yeah, it happened like 50 years ago or so. Sorry, I'm not very good at this. At history, I mean. Our government? Or do you mean something else? Sorry, I really need to finish this article. Cool. Mazovian Socioeconomics. Nord point nord 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 percent of communism has been built. Evil child murdering billionaires still rule the world. With a shit-eating grin, all he has managed to do is make himself sad. He is starting to suspect Krasmezov fucked him over, personally, with his socio-economic theory. It has, however, made him into a very smart boy, with something like a university degree in truth. Instead of building communism, he now builds a precise model of this grotesque, duplicitous world. To the left of some croissants and the tear machine stands in the corner. 
colorful display of cigarettes and alcohol bottles line the shop wall, inviting you closer. There, in that dark green glass, all in vain. The great flowing river of warmth, wine, alcohol, beer, alcohol, love, alcohol. I'm obliged to inform you that both alcohol and cigarettes damage your health, but I guess you already know that. Don't ask, don't look, don't do anything here. Just go away, get back to work. Know this, you will never finish your alcohol quest if you don't buy beautiful alcohol. Um, the Pale Age Vodka is special, I guess. It's stored in pale for a couple of years, which makes it super expensive and super strong. You know. Don't worry your pretty little head about it. Let's concentrate on what's important here. I mean, I already said it'd hurt you. I don't know what else they do. No, Fritz only sells legal drugs, like the law says. A small cabinet on the wall is filled with very- Okay, don't, like, overdo it or something. 